Well, today we usher in a new era of peace between Israel and the Arab world. I just came from an historic virtual conference between myself, President Donald Trump, and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Zayed of the United Arab Emirates. We announced uh, the establishment of a full and formal peace between Israel and the UAE. History was made this week as Israel and the United Arab Emirates agreed to a peace deal meant to normalize relations between the two countries. Israel and its leaders are often described as warmongering, racist, and extreme right wing. But Israel's history, including the latest remarkable development, proves otherwise. In 1947, when the United Nations approved the partition of Mandatory Palestine, establishing a Jewish state alongside an Arab state, the Jewish leadership at the time accepted it. Sadly, the Arab world did not. In 1967, after the Six-Day War, Israel accepted the principles of UN Resolution 242, that it relinquished the West Bank and the Gaza Strip in exchange for peace with the Palestinians. Sadly, the Arab League rejected this, saying no peace, no recognition, no negotiations. In 1979, Israel made peace with Egypt, its longtime enemy, making significant concessions, including giving back to Cairo the entire Sinai Peninsula in order to seal the deal. In 1994, Israel signed a peace accord with Jordan, another historic adversary, again making significant compromises for the sake of coexistence. In 2000, Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Barak offered the Palestinians 96% of what they were asking for in order to reach a peace deal with them. The offer was rejected. In 2005, Israel decided not to wait for the Palestinians and unilaterally pulled all soldiers and Israeli residents out of the Gaza Strip hoping that this would spark movement toward peace from the Palestinian side. Instead, Hamas has used an IDF-free Gaza as a launching pad for missiles fired at Israeli homes. Three years later, Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert made another more generous offer to PA President Mahmoud Abbas, who never even bothered to respond. Fast forward to 2020, Israel has signed a peace agreement with a Gulf state amid reports that other regional Arab nations will soon follow suit. No matter what is said in world capitals or in the media, facts are facts. Hopefully this truth will be finally internalized by all media outlets and all countries around the world, especially the Palestinians. Israel has always sought to extend an olive branch to those who are willing to accept it.